Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. You'll find a link below in the video description. Today is gonna be a good day. See my smile? <laughs> uh, back about a month ago, uh, nobody could find any smart car tires in this country. On this continent, they were back ordered. We needed to get them back in stock. And so I had to do some drastic things just to get used tires to be able to get this car here to Arizona where it sits right now. Well, I had made an order through Amazon that was back ordered. And I found out four days ago that Amazon had the stock tires, the right tires that go with this car when it was brand new in 2014. And it took exactly four days to get four new tires. Look at those guys. That's right, y'all. Brand new. We got the two fronts. Those are the 155 60R15s. And then the two rears, which are the 160 the uh, no 175 65 r15s brand new continental conti pro contact all season tires 25,000 mile warranty uh so we're gonna go to a tire shop here and see if they'll uh, swap these on keep all of my pressure tire sensors and everything and put them on the right rims of course because these are five and a half so those are four and a half and then if we can get that taken care of i will have of uh, let me see here or eight. I will have eight spare used tires plus a ninth spare tire mounted on a rim, which is going to stay in the car at all times with my jack and my bottle jack and everything in case I have another flat and need to use them. I may even take two more spare tires with me, but uh, I also have another idea to make sure that um, as I'm towing the car behind the RV, I, I will be able to monitor the pressure of the wheel. More on that later at the end of this video. But first, let's go down to Sholo and uh, see if we can get somebody to uh, mount these tires. I did have to take the speaker box, the two 10-inch Sonys, out of the back to be able to fit all the tires. It smells really weird here in Tater Tot. It's a, it's a, you know, that new rubber smell, but it's, it's very potent because I put the tires in last night, and so they've been marinating here inside the car. It is, in fact, I better crack a window. I'm gonna get rubber high. <laughs> Man, you just gotta make things happen. I was really down and out, and it's taken a long time, but we are finally getting back on track with this car and that is a good feeling. It kind of reminds me of the whole camshaft thing with Miranda, where again, nationally back ordered, and then all of a sudden, a month later, I ended up getting three camshafts. I had three of them, I didn't need three, I only needed one. Anyway, we'll head down here and uh, check out a few tire shops, see what they can do today. This will be my first stop, this is uh, Robert's. So we'll try Robert, Robert, Robert's tire first. Wow, guys, that was, the best tire experience of my life at Roberts. They had a bay open, they took me right in, they understood about how the smart car has special rims and tires and everything, knew exactly what to do and how to do it, and they got it done in less than 15 minutes, all mounted and balanced. With the 175s on the rear, on the five and a half inch rim there, and the 155s on the front, with the four and a half inch rim, looking awesome. I am also just really kind of confused. There, there they are over there. Robert's tire. I just moved over here real quick. No charge. Yeah, I was, I was. It's very, very, very confused. You tell me there was no charge to mount and balance four tires. I've never heard of anything like that. This is why I don't like the big chains that rip you off and they don't know anything. And then you got these small town shops here in Sholo that just knock it out of the park. While we are over here in this area, uh, the reason I came to Robert's Tire is because this is my new mail station. Now, I am not an Arizona resident. I do not have a home in Arizona. I am not a resident of Arizona. I cannot even come close to proving that I live in Arizona. However, I am going to need a place to get my mail securely, and this place does it all. In fact, uh, Kevin has a box here as well. You can get all of your Amazon, your UPS, FedEx, DHL, and USPS packages can be sent here and held here. Uh, they will help you turn into a resident once you become a resident, if that's what you want to do. But I have a mailbox here for 22 bucks a month. Good to go. You can only pick up your big packages when they're open, but the mail room 
with your key 24 hours a day. There's the key battle entering my code. There we go. And my box number. They have different sizes. I just went with the small one because I really don't want anything important to be left at my property. I don't even have a mailbox at my property. I'm not going to have one. So having a, a locked box here is a really good idea, but no mail today. Gosh, I'm on a roll today, guys. Uh, let's go back to camp here and I will show you uh, these new tire pressure sensors that I'm going to install that will link the smart car with the RV while I'm driving and towing. I wonder if they didn't charge me because I took the old tires with me because I wanted them as spare tires because there would have been a disposal disposal charge. So I'm just I'm just saying they definitely hooked me up, but everybody might not get the, the free mounted tire uh, deal there. I'm just happy. I'm so happy. All right, well, back in uh, Babe the Blue Box here, and suffice to say, I am ready for the smart car tire apocalypse shortage. There's eight used tires uh, of varying conditions. This one is nearly brand new, um, and I got the spare ready to go. Well, I guess step one was really having backups, and I've got eight, eight spare tires, right? Step two, uh, as you know by now, smart cars don't come with a spare tire of any kind, so... Um, I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I got my speaker put back in here and I have a mounted tire. I'm gonna be traveling with a spare tire at all times in the smart car. I have it mounted to a rim. This is actually the uh, front rim and this is the front tire because if I put the back tire in here as a spare, it might not fit too well up there. So this is just a, a temporary spare tire until I can get the right one in case a rear one goes out. But I've got that. I've got the six ton bottle jack in the corner along with my 15 millimeter deep socket there. Ratchet so I can do my own changing the tires there. That is uh, step one. Kevin's over there sanding purple tracker over there. He's going to be doing some uh, projects on her too, getting her all painted and I don't know what he's doing over there now. <laughs> so that is uh, step two. Um, step three. Step three is going to be installing this that I picked up. It is an aftermarket Bluetooth tire pressure and temperature monitoring system by Lippert. So we're going to be putting, I'll show you what's in here actually. See these little caps? These are valve caps that have a built-in battery in them. You're going to put all four of these, you're going to swap them out for these. And then we're going to sync them. There's a barcode on there. We're going to sync them with this tire link system right here. It is powered by a DC 12 volt. Uh, as you know, when I tow my smart car, we have to disengage and disconnect the battery in here. So I don't have any power in the car. However, I'm gonna hook this up in the RV because the car is gonna be hooked to the RV right here. And here's where the back window of the RV would kind of be. So if we go back over the RV, I have a 12 volt socket right on the other side of this glass. So I'm gonna add a, net, a 12 volt like plug to this. This is gonna mount just on the other side of this window, maybe up there, and it'll definitely be able to read all the signals coming from the four tires of the car while I'm driving. The other benefit of having this in the RV rather than in the car is that while I'm driving the RV, if this alarm goes off, I'm gonna be able to hear it inside the RV. There is also Bluetooth though also, so right on your phone, like all, while I'm watching my navigation while I'm driving, if there's a problem and the pressure goes bad on one of the car tires, it's gonna notify me right there while I'm driving from my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all linked up and set up and powered up in the RV and then I'm gonna feel a lot better about towing tater tot. Oh, and I also just wanna mention, so these have the batteries in them. Uh, it's important to know that they are the CR1632 batteries. So I also ordered a 24 pack of them on Amazon for about eight bucks. Uh, that way I'll remember to just open these up and replace the batteries once a year just to make sure that they never go dead and I have a problem uh, with those guys there. Alrighty, I feel like they made this a little more complicated than it really needs to be. <laughs> like the directions include all of the manual stuff, like how to sync it manually, but it is really easy if you just do the automatic version. And then you can skip all this huge paperwork here. It does come with a, this removes, it separates the valve stems so that you can replace the battery. So don't lose this black piece because that's how you get these out. But you start with all of these off, so I can take them back off. Then you set them next to the tire links here. And as you can see, I've got it hooked up to 12 volt because I have this long extension cord. And this is how I'm gonna hook it up in the RV because I have that RV socket right on the back window over there. So 
all you do is you turn it on and then you say you're gonna add some stuff so I would click here and it had a plus thing and then it said okay go screw one in so I went and I screwed one in and then about five seconds later it said okay which tire is that and I said drivers rear there's drivers front there's uh, passenger rear and there's passenger front so it has the PSI levels of all of them it has the temperature of all of them and then you can go in and set so I went in here and I changed the uh, minimum pressure to 27 so if any tire ever goes under 27 PSI I will get an alert this will start beeping on the back window of the RV and I will get a push notification on my phone which I use for navigation you can set maximum pressure maximum temperature and maximum temperature change if something happened you had a blowout that would do it so all I got to do now is uh, tape up these connections bring this into the RV put my wheel covers back on and we have solved the problem of having a rear blowout on the car that I cannot see from my camera while towing my car so see I've had lots of crazy things happen on the road but one thing I always do is I try to learn from my mistakes and share how I'm going to move on and not have those problems in the future so uh, tire link by Lippert we'll see how this goes when we hit the road so have you two noticed that I do all the work around here while you guys just sleep? You didn't even notice that? It's true. Yeah, I just do all the work while you guys just relax. You butts. You bigger butts. You're getting big. Opie, you're getting big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, don't get too used to these uh, daily videos. I don't know how long they're going to last. I just know I've got a lot of projects and I figure rather than taking time off while I'm here uh, parked for at least another week here, um, I'm gonna just keep sharing stuff I'm doing. And uh, that's just the way it is. So thanks for joining me guys. Opie and Tara and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.